Hey everyone, it's Sue here. Hope you're all doing okay. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're doing day 14 of <coughs> hashtag 100 days RAB by Rachel at Rachel and Bella Crafts and she's called this easy decoupage ideas for your junk journals and we're working on this Franken page journal. So at the moment I've all the Franken pages I've made I've stuck in well, I haven't stitched them in yet, but I'm making them into a journal and they're going to be interspersed with some tea and coffee dyed paper, I think. Book page, that sort of thing. I think this is going to be my front cover. I've mixed up some Mod Podge with some water here in a pot. Uh, this is the one I've got at the moment. It, it says it's um, gloss or luster. It smells horrible. Um... Um, but hopefully, I don't know if that's the original one or or not. Anyway, we're going to decoupage. So, I have picked out some various napkins. Now, what Rachel advises, and it's very sound advice, is that you don't decoupage straight onto your front cover in case it all goes awry. Particularly as this is quite thin paper at the moment. What we want to do is find some paper to decoupage on and then add it on. So I've got various bits. I've got half a sheet of some um, blue dyed paper here. Uh, I didn't do it myself. I think it came in a um, swap, something like that. I've got some plain white card, which is probably about 120 GSM. I've got some straw paper. I've got some music paper. So that's the papers I'm going to attempt to decoupage and see which one we like and how they turn out on different papers. I'll just pop that to one side for a minute. These I've got a scrap of this lovely script um, which I've been using quite a bit, a uh, napkin. I've got this lovely napkin here with butterflies on. Oh, it's that way. Butterflies and um, beautiful flowers. Oh, no, it's actually that way up. And the script is kind of upside down, but that's fine. So I'll open it out. And it's very pretty. Very pretty indeed. So there's that one. Then I've got this lovely green one in here. I haven't even opened this pack yet. Um, these come from Amazons. You know, they come... You can buy singles or you can just buy packs of four. I sometimes go in and pick singles as, you know... Uh, a few buyers that sell single ones and you can sort of pick half a dozen from their shop you know and obviously they don't cost a lot and the postage is not too bad so that's very pretty that one it's those lovely birds blue tit or great tit and their eggs in the nest so that's very nice and there's this lovely one here which i really like um sort of look like dahlias to me sorts of dahlias anyway very pretty and then the last one i've got is probably i've only got this one which is a bit tatty because i think i got it into a happy mail maybe um or swap <laughs> um and this one is actually not in four quarters as such it's in two halves so the top half reflects the bottom half so that's quite unusual, that one. So I, d I didn't realise you could actually get them that, t that were just two halves instead of four quarters. So that's very pretty, that one. So let's have a look. And we're going to do several. So we're going to use all these bits of paper. And let's do the, the um, music page first. And let's pick... Um, so... I don't know what ply these are. Sometimes they're two ply, sometimes they're three ply. And I keep these bits here because they make good um, dry cloth kind of things for wiping bits off your makes. Now, I don't know if this one, I just wet my finger. Some people use um, tape. So I have got a scrap of washi tape here stuck to my board that came on some mail 
I kept it. I just want to see if there's more than... So if you stick it down... Ah, yes, and then you just use that and gently pull it. So I'll take that, use, put that back and gently pull this. It's, this is a very big napkin, this one. Lovely. Very nice. All right, so we're going to keep that. We craft just keep everything, don't we? And we'll put this journal to one side. And then we think about... Okay, I think I'm going to probably... Um, chop that in half. I don't need a great big, big sheet. Um, and I just want to see, because then you can make journal cards out of them. The cable on my camera's got a bit droopy. <laughs> now I don't know if it's the heat. I don't think it is. It's just droopy. <laughs> I moved its position. I don't think it likes it. But I'm just going to um, tear that there. And again, down here. Oh! I need my heavy ruler, really. So let's just get that positioned so that we've got enough. They do have um, an edge on them, these napkins, and it's, it's almost like Braille, actually, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is, but it's like the braille dots. And then I'm going to take it to that edge. Okay, and then we'll keep all this because when you're decoupaging little tags and things and layering up things, that piece is always very handy and I do like that one. Okay, so just going to get my messy mat, this little one out, which is not a self-seal one because it's got lots of cut marks on it. It's just a very cheap one. I think I got it from one of those Chinese shops. Very cheap ones like, um, oh, I can't remember. I know there's a new one called Timu, but... I'm even bothering with it, to be honest. Uh, I just stick to the people I normally buy from. I mean, they look lovely, the things. But, you know, the catch is that the things are advertising. You just can get one item, really, for that price as a new subscriber. And I, I don't want to download any more apps onto my phone. The phone doesn't like it. Right, so I'm gonna I'm going to now let's see. I don't know how this paper's going to this is quite runny, but don't want it to so I'm just gonna paint the paper that it's going on. Don't want it too um thick is what I'm trying to say. And you have to be quick, especially on hot days like we have here. And Paddy's come up to ask me if I want a cup of tea. I'd love a cup of tea, Paddy. I, that, oh, that's got some... I don't know where that's come from. That... God. <laughs> anyway. Um, making a mess as usual. So, yeah, I'm just covering this in this Mod Podge mixture should look at what the mix should be so as quickly now before that dries I'm going to lay this down and this can be the tricky bit so you kind of want to lay it down without any <laughs> creases where's my bone folder 
Put it up that way. I can't seem to work that way around. <laughs> oh, now. I'm just going to gently cut that down. It's probably better if I do it with my hand. You don't want to tear it. So, just put a bit more in that corner. I'm going to fill the whole of this page up. Don't rub too hard. I'm only rubbing very gently, believe it or not. And when that's dry, I can cut that down there and I'll have two halves that look like this. Oh, I think this must be on this mat. Gosh. Okay, that doesn't matter because we would probably back it with some journaling um, paper anyway uh, to give it some extra strength. And if you're not too sure, you can um, actually just go over some of the bubbly bits gently, very gently. Okay. Right, let's leave that one to dry. Okay. I am just going to get a wet one out. Ah, that's the problem. I don't think I've wiped this down in the last um, video I did. Oh, that's very bad, isn't it? Let's do this side. Yeah, I can now see all that. I was using a, a spray called, um, well, it was, the colour was kind of an amber. And it's obviously got into all the nooks and crannies in this board. I'm just going to get that off quickly. It's gone everywhere. I mean, still trying to get the green off my hands from a previous video um, that I did of um, 100 days RAB and um, one of my sprays the nozzle was blocked and I hadn't realised I hadn't put the lid on properly and I went to shake it and it went all over the place and I still have got green on my hands that just shows you how much they can stain you're not careful okay so we'll use one of these as a wipe to wipe down this and wipe this dry still coming off look right the back is is free of that color right okay oh gosh <sighs> I've now got amber coloured fingers so it looks like I'm one of those heavy smokers with nicotine fingers when I've never never smoked really not properly had a go at it once <laughs> didn't enjoy it so didn't really bother with it anymore so this is the one I think this is this lovely dyed paper so we're going to, I think, put, I love this one with the bird eggs, um, the birds. So I'm going to, once again, um, look for my bit of washi I had. It's just here. And I'm going to see how many ply this one has. So that's come off very easily, that one. Stuck to the washi. Okay, and I've got a feeling there's another one because you can always tell because the 
design is not completely kind of I don't know what's the word see-through or translucent so there it is that is it so you can see the difference between that and that so that's actually two fly that one there's definitely nothing else on there so I'm going to cut one of these squares out so you can see what I mean by this one the general ones we have in the UK or as far as I'm aware are in quarters so the design is repeated in quarters um, okay so that's a quarter and I'd like to get the birds in but I want it I think to go on the front cover here so I've got to be mindful of how wide that cover is and think about um, what it I don't want it that wide anyway so what you can do is then cut round your um, so I'm going to cut this border off first of all, the scissors, like this, hoping that you're in view, which I'm obsessing about. Yeah, I think you can see me. And then I'm going to cut around this bed and and then this one. I should use my smaller scissors. These I always go for these scissors for paper cutting. Where are they? Here they are. Um and let's see. We have to be very careful because um I don't want to cut his leg off, you see, but I also gotta be very careful when I stick it down. I'm taking some of the white out basically. Let's move that. It's getting very fiddly. Okay, we're about to cut a bit of his tail off now. Okay, I'll just trim along the top there because that's got a bit of a rougher edge where I cut it with those other scissors. Okay, so I think we'll have to cut the sun's face off, unfortunately. I do like that sun, but we can actually use that, so we're keeping that piece. So now we're going to have scraps of serviettes or napkins, whatever you call them in your country. Now let's see if that was to go on there, it's still far too wide. So it's going to have to come down to about here really. So... I'm going to cut um, into there, I think. See if we can keep that flower, but I don't know if we can. Okay, oh, this thumb is really hurting. Right. Okay, so that corner can come off. There. And no, we're not going to, we're going to have to cut around that flower. So I may be able to just use that on another piece somewhat, sometime. 
So again, that scrap I shall keep in this one. And there we have it. So that's going to fit now nicely. And I've kept a bit of the script. Just a little bit of the nest has gone. But you can see, you know, I wanted just to keep the integrity of it. Okay, so that is now going to be mod podged onto this. So it's going to go... I'm just going to mark that the pencil because I wanted to keep some of this um, paper. Aren't we hoarders? We're terrible, aren't we? I am. I hoard everything. I don't want to use it half the time when I get it. I think, oh yeah, I'll use that one day. And <laughs> I've recently used a few things that I had bought when I first started. Just before, well, just as COVID started, because that's when I started crafting, because I didn't go on furlong from work, because I worked for the NHS, and we didn't, we carried on, and um, so I just see everything wrinkles, I want to get the top of that bird there, on the top of the roughly... This one's easier to put down because it's not quite so big. I'm just gently smoothing it and then where you need to just gently lift it and put some more Mod Podge. And it doesn't matter if some goes on top because what you can do, I often do, is I'll put a coat of Mod Podge over the top once this is dried. Just to seal it, I usually do that with napkins, serviettes, whatever you're calling them. It does start bubbling up a bit, but you kind of have to wait for that to dry. And that is going to look lovely, I think. What do you think of that? Do you think that's nice? Just lifting a tiny bit. There, so I'm going to just pop the brush under gently. I think, it, you see, it's a good thing to try different papers because they can have a different effect on it. Not only by look, but the way it lays and how it sticks down. So we're going to leave that one to dry. Okay, um, it would be good to wipe this as we go along. Get rid of some of these bits. Oh, hard to pick up. Right, let's see. Um, now, this paper here, I thought, might lend itself to some of this serviette. Where's my hand <laughs> got that lovely hand I bought from a lovely crafter called Carol um, who's on a Facebook journaling group and uh, it's such a good weight for holding down I like this a lot I've got a feeling this might be William Morris but I'm not 100% sure I'm not familiar with all of his patterns I think we'll do half of that maybe. We could do a whole sheet actually and keep it in the stash. Okay, so we have got that crease there, but um okay, so let's see how many ply this one is. And that has come off in straight away. And I think that's definitely two ply. So just going to see if it is. I don't know why. But I'm just satisfying my curiosity to see whether it is two or three. No, I think it was just 
Oh, it is. Look there. So that again is a two ply. No, that's a three ply because this is two ply and that's one. Yes, math was never my best subject. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna. I think we're going to mod podge half of this a time. See how we get on with this going to soak up this quite a lot so I need a bigger brush don't I another thing for my shopping list I try and buy a few bits here and there and then wait until I get paid again <laughs> see if I can afford something else you know something else off my list My shopping list that's actually quite invisible except to my family on um, Amazon. Uh, never really shared it outside of the family. So anyway, let's um, pop that down there and give that a good press down so that's gone down very well and give that a wipe and then peel that back like so and quickly mod podge the other side so it looks like the um Quantity of water to mod, mod podge. I want to say mod podge, but it's mod podge. Um, I think that's possibly a good mix. It seems to be anyway. And then rather than get rid of it, I will try and use it. I'll cover it and hope it doesn't dry out in this heat. And then I will use it to do a top coat on these off camera I think they'll dry quite quickly because it's a hot day again here in the UK well where I am down south I keep saying that because I don't know what the weather's like really anywhere else I think everyone's got a heat wave actually most counties which is lovely Now I've noticed some brown streaks coming out on this. Now I don't know whether that will go when it's dry. So I'm, it could be the straw paper, I don't know. I don't really know what straw paper is made from. I mean I always think it's recycled somehow. I'm just trimming off the edge. Accidentally trimmed a bit of the <laughs> straw paper then. do the, this edge sometimes it's better to let it overlap a bit um, rather than try and get it spot on you know because you you don't want the mod mod podge to dry out and it dries out quite quickly so here comes the pencil again uh, on this what must be an uneven floor that my desk is on either that or the desk is uneven and that wouldn't surprise me because it's one of those um, Amazon jobbies that my husband had to put together that was Covid time as well um, and the first one we got was awful and they didn't even take it back because it was so poor wasn't worth it really for them to have to get someone to collect it so now that just has to 
gently go back so it doesn't like getting too wet you see so she as she leans on one end of it so that um, is looking okay right I think those brown splodges there I don't know if you can see them that aren't supposed to be in the pattern I think they will probably dry out Okay, right, so that one's going to dry now. And then what else have we got? Um, got this little card. We're going to try a piece of that. So let's do some script on there because it's white. So we just do some script. Might as well put the whole lot on. And then... Um, and then we'll see how that looks because then you've got some pieces that you can make journal cards and tags, tucks, all that out of in your stash. So nice to have like a, a session of doing this at home um, when you've got five minutes and see what ones you know you can you can buy um napkins quite cheaply and also i found them in charity shops as well where people have you know um bought a packet for some occasion and then they don't want the rest so if you're lucky you can find them Oh, that's good. That's used up that scrap. So and if you've got a white piece of card like this and you don't like the whiteness, you can what you can do is when you go to actually use it, um you can just turn it over like this and spray the back, you know. You can make it look tea or coffee dyed quite easily without submersing it in a, a vat of tea or coffee um, water you can um, paint it with water and then use watercolors on it that makes a nice effect so this is all sticking now to my scissors Probably because it's damp. I should wait and trim it when it's dry, really. Right, so that's for drying. And if we've got anything else, oh yes, I've, I've got two of these tags. Um, the kind of ones you buy in a shop, craft shop. And I thought we would possibly um, do a bit of decoupage on these. So we've got a, we've got these scraps. So let's. Let's do one with scraps so you can see how nice it is to keep the scraps and, you know, um, and do a collage. Type of collage would be nice. So we've got oh we've got the got this blue strip that says Paris 1878 on that's quite nice down there yeah I'm going to collage this I'm going to um, mod project which 
side is better. I don't think it's a good or a bad side, really. And the other side can stay like it is for journaling on. We'll quickly mod so it's curling up, so it just makes life a bit harder. So going to pop that down at the bottom like so and take that off like that okay and then some of that can go up here Yeah, this is not easy. And this. Maybe we'll put that there. Oh, I've got my itchy nose. I'm going to, it's soaked up the Mod Podge, so I'm going to have to redo it as I go along. So. Why don't we put that there, the bit that I haven't redone. <laughs> okay, and we pop that there. So that wants to, um, wants to pull apart. So, but you can embellish on top of this afterwards with other things and then then we've got that we've also got this we could pop that maybe we'll pop that down that side just give that I'm trying to be as quick as I can without ruining it um, okay I've never collaged, I don't think, <laughs> with um, this. So I'm going to cut that out. That can go in the middle, like so. Trying to cover up the background, really, if I can. Okay. And then you can put a focal point on it yourself with something else. is isn't necessarily a napkin. So I think um, this, let's put a bit more blue on first, so use a water pen to tear off and what have you if you want to. Once you've got it down like this, you don't see all, all those edges necessarily. And then that can go over the top, you see. So, like so. And okay, that will have to. 
I think be enough for that for now because it's getting a bit wet so I'm going to pop that to dry lay it flat and we've got that flower still we could put on right now the other one we just put one piece on I think and A piece of this on so I'm just going to cut a quarter of it out I'm just going to cut inside that crease and let's see have here just give that bit of washi tape I want to do the other side actually and that's the way you should do it I don't know why I'm doing it the other way okay so this, I think, is just double ply. Yep, that's definitely double ply only. So now we have to think about part of it we want on there. So when you look at this. Or do we want that flower? Because we could put a butterfly on afterwards over the top of that. So that would be quite nice. So let's try that. I'm going over the hole as well because um, then I can just repunch it or push it through. So quickly now going to pop that down. Oh that's not very straight, is it? It's completely soaked that mud podge up completely. was a saviour really because it was crooked so I needed to pull it off anyway okay let's be quick about it now you want okay the easiest way is to lay this down I think like so and then lay this on there like so like this and that hopefully is okay it's not quite as high as I wanted it but oof let's use the ruler and I've got bits of napkins sticking to me everywhere now it's done we could cut the butterfly out maybe I think the butterfly is a bit too wide for it though if I hadn't pulled that one apart I could have put that one on maybe 
Maybe we could put that one on. Or we could just put a normal butterfly on. Right, okay. So that's enough mod podging for today. Let's have a look at some of the dried pieces. We'll go to our first one, which is the music page. That's dried very nicely. Um, yeah, it does need a coat over the top when you decide what you're going to do with it. And then there's this lovely one. I do like that. That is going to look great on my on the front cover of this journal, I think. So it's going to go on there. Um, I'll have to cut round it. You can see it's quite glossy, this Mod Podge. And then I'll give it a second coat. I just want to see what it looks like on this journal cover. Must be careful. Very, very delicate they are. These um, napkins, serviettes, whatever. Going around that up like that, okay. So it's not finished yet, but that's what it's going to look like on the cover. So I'll wait for that to dry and then that can go on that cover afterwards. So that's those two. And what else have we got? We have our piece of script serviette on there. So that looks good. Okay. Bit bendy, but you can put them under a weight. There's our collaged piece, but it's not dry yet. So that is looking a bit odd. But it will be fine, I think, once it dries up. Yeah, it's not quite dry, so we won't mess about with it too much. I just wanted to define the tag, really, shape. So I think once that's dry, that's going to look nice. And that could even go on it. Like that, somehow. All right, Paddy. Some courier has just turned up. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm just going to pop that over that green, I think. husband's gone to the door. Just put your pause. Sorry about that. Right, so that's it. They're not quite dry, so I'm just going to leave them like that for now. But that's given you some ideas what you can do with your napkins slash serviettes. And how you can decoupage them. The other way I do it sometimes is I just use a glue stick. And I glue stick over the area I want to put the serviette on and then I pat it down that way. And that's turned out to be quite a good idea. But I will give these another coat of the Mod Podge to seal them 
um, and then once that's done and they're dry then they can be utilized to make tags journal cards um, book journal front cover pieces whatever but if you're putting up on a journal it's better to mod podge it onto and decoupage it onto a piece of paper or card first don't do it straight onto your cover because your cover could end up ruined okay so i hope you enjoyed that and sorry for the interruptions and um, i'll see you all again soon take care bye bye